So we're looking at some things um, that don't involve so much meat. We're trying to find meat-free options for food, which is not always that enjoyable, not something I necessarily love doing. However, started looking at some traditional recipes and found one called Nut Loaf. Um, I think it's a pretty traditional recipe, um, but I thought I was looking through it, there were some really cool variations to make of it. So I thought we'd have a go at a Middle Eastern style um, nut loaf, cooking it in the Auspeak. So the base of this is um, a mixed nuts, this is walnuts, Brazil nuts and cashews. All blitzed down in using Nutribull or Thermomix, like that to get them blitzed so you can try and buy them crushed. Then our um, blitz down the our carrots and onions and celery, there's our base veggies and place of lentils, I've blitzed down chickpeas, which is going to be our little Middle Eastern thing going on. I mean, one of my favourite spices, uh, za'atar, or za'atar, however you want to say it. This is thyme and sesame seeds and oregano. It's a really exciting spice mix. I think it's going to be really cool. So we'll have a go at that. Okay, so what I've got here is the big cast iron wok in the top of the Ozpeak. Um, I'm going to take that off. It's really hot. Keep it on the warming plate where it will stay warm. We'll cook down our veggies and nuts in here. I'm going to put the oven on top to start getting it hot for up to about 200 degrees. Okay, so we're going to assemble our um, nut loaf thing, a Middle Eastern take on nut loaf. Um, so, got some uh, Persian goat's cheese, feta, we're just going to crumble that into here. Uh, this has been sitting for uh, 40 minutes, it's cooling down. Still a bit warm, but not, not too bad, which is good. I've then got some coriander stalks, so I've finally shredded down. Alright, and with our salt. And we're just going to whisk up a couple of eggs um, and chuck them in here. going to put in um, around about 100 grams or a couple of um, fresh ones. You could use um, gluten-free breadcrumbs if you want this to be gluten-free, um, except for the eggs. <laughs> it's almost a vegan dish, but you're still vegetarian at the moment, so that's great. I'm going to mix all that through, like so. You notice to the tomatoes, I use tin of cherry tomatoes because again I want that um, just occasional little pop to occur in there. So there's our loaf, we're then going to cover that um, with a little bit of foil and it bakes, essentially bakes half foil, half foil. No foil. So that's it. That's going to go in the pig uh, for about half an hour. We'll take the foil off in about 20 minutes. We'll see how it feels. It feels done. Ready to go. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. We're going to take the uh, foil off. Oh. It's already starting to cook around the edges. We've got some browning, which is cool. And that's going to cook um, a little bit further. What I was going to do at this point is put some of the um, crushed nuts. I'm going to put a bit of um, olive oil over that. And the nuts have their own oil, so they're brown up anyway. But and Then this is pomegranate molasses, keeping with our, our Middle Eastern theme. Going to go back in for about 20 minutes. 